And we're going to continue reading from the book by Jack Perlutsky, Perlutsky called Behold the Bold Umbrellaphant. This one is called The Circular Saw Toy Toys. The circular saw toys does little but yawn until it sees something that needs to be sawn. And then with such skill that it merits awards, turns trees into logs, which it saws into boards. The circular saw toys may seem to be slow, but when it is sawing, that's simply not so. Its shell doesn't hinder its furious pace and shields it from chips that might fly in its face. It saws and it saws, really stopping to rest. It saws with proficiency, fervor, and zest. At last, when its sawing is done for the day, the circular saw toss just lumbers away. The limber bulboa. The limber bulboa is hard to ignore. It's out every night for it loves to explore. It has no idea what it's likely to find as it lights up on it, its way with its brilliant behind. It winds around meadows, meanders by trees, shining its light on whatever it sees. It studies the land as it wanders about. Its light is amazing and never goes out. It's wondrous to watch the Bulboa behave. It turns up its beam when it appears in a cave. It lights up the sands as it winds down the shore. The limber Bulboa is hard to ignore. The Clocktopus. Emerging from the salty sea, a wondrous beast appears. It clearly is a clocktopus. We marvel as it nears. It moves with slow precision at a never-changing pace. Its tentacles in tempo with the clock upon its face. While undulating east to west across the swirling sand, it ticks away the minutes and it has a second hand. We watch it for an hour and it never goes astray. There's nothing like a clocktopus to tell the time of day. The egg bee turkey. The egg bee turkeys whisk like legs are excellent for beating eggs. They beat them by the dozen. Then they often beat those eggs again. They beat them to a foamy froth, which stirred into a hearth, hearty broth is so delicious that we cheer. We're glad the egg beaters here. Egg bee turkeys here. Hatch chickens, hat chickens are odd. And the reason is that instead of a head, they only have a hat. They muddle about in a permanent daze in bowlers and beanies, sombreros and ber berets. Hat chickens are truly ridiculous fowls. They strut and they swagger in kerchiefs and cowls, in turbans and derbies and bonnets and caps, fedoras and fezes and helmets with straps. Because they can't hear and because they can't see, they bump one another continually. Of course they can't eat and they can't even cluck. Those hapless hat chickens are lacking in luck. And there's both of them. The trumpetoos and two balloons. The trumpetoos and two baboons are blaring out discordant tunes. They play them loud, they play them long, but most of all, they play them wrong. They open up their brazen throats, unleashing a barrage of notes that would be better left unplayed, but play they do as they parade. Their sounds are jarring to the ear as noisily they persevere and play in clashing beats and keys on musical cacophonies. They march all about in close array. We wish they'd simply march away or stop and take a silent snooze. Those tuba booms and trumpetoos. And we'll have to finish this one next time.